Hey guys and welcome to another how-to tutorial building this monstrosity of a building that um, you can see right before our eyes here. <laughs> this is part nine now of uh, the build and as you can see we are getting very close now to the finishing line and whew, has it been an exhilarating build uh, and it's I will be completely honest with you, it has presented its challenges um, at certain points during this uh, tutorial, but thankfully we have managed to overcome all the obstacles and problems that we've needed to navigate around. And on the whole, looking at this build, I am very happy with how it has turned out. So, what have I been doing since part eight? Well, as you can clearly see, I finished one tower, this one we're looking at on the left-hand side, which is the third tier of the two towers. A roof is on, the glass pane windows are in, and we've got a little bit more decor on the outside. So that is the exterior. So if we quickly make our way inside this, we'll call it a grand church, which is what we've always called it. Um, I've done a little bit of alteration to this archway here to incorporate what we have now is a stairwell leading all the way up to the second floor. How about that? We're liking a bit of that, aren't we? What a beautiful thing it is. <laughs> so yes, I have painstakingly spent the last hour and a half constructing this stairway to make sure that it's functional and that it works. And overall, I am very happy with how it's turned out. So as you can see now, we have made our way onto the second floor. That is the interior of the roof, as you can see. Uh, there's a little bit of detailing that's gone off in here. Uh, although around here we are a little bit limited for space, but that's perfectly fine. But we have left enough space up above, should we choose to actually build and design a bell tower which I kind of like the idea of so I've made a little archway here with this connecting hallway which is the central feature part which links the two towers together and as you can see in the distance there there's a village all lit up at night which I think looks rather uh, rather exquisite it looks lovely and this is where eventually where we complete the second tower so this is where we're going to begin on this part of the tutorial. So I'm going to show you what I've done um, in regards to the build on this first tower. We will attempt, and I'd say successfully, attempt to replicate what we've done with the first tower. To start off with, you're going to need your stone brick blocks. And we're going to go along the centre here, so you should have one, two... A two block gap either side and we're going to go all the way to the top to the same level as these two pillars here um, either side uh, on the third level of this tower so again on this side we're going to go up all the way to the top along the middle with this stone brick block so it looks like that okay fantastic and we're going to get our stone brick stairs and not forgetting placing a stone brick stair on top of the window frame around the second tier where we've got the glass pane windows now we need to go and have a look and see where we need to mark off where the glass pane windows are split because I've decided I didn't want to go all the way up with the uh, the glass and I wanted to divide the sections up on the third tier so I put in some upside down stairs uh, just to break up the design a little bit so it doesn't look a bit too repetitive uh, that, that's my feeling anyway and I think it it looks okay from uh, from an aesthetic and architectural perspective so right we're going to place our upside down stair blocks along here, here and here. And we're going to repeat that on this side. So it looks something like that. 
Okay, so now we'll be able to take our uh, stained glass pane windows. Uh, so not forgetting, we need to place some stair bricks along the bottom. Let's just have a quick check of the design to make sure I'm not uh, <clears throat> missing anything off. No, that looks correct. So if we quickly head over to the tower that we're working on, so we'll place our stair brick blocks down and now we're going to go up with the glass pane windows all the way until it joins the upside down stair blocks and then we're going to go all the way down on the second side with the blocks so your window will look like that okay so we'll quickly uh, fill in this side with glass shouldn't take us too long there we go and on the other side as well all the way up so it should look something like that. Okay, now for the second part where the glass windows are placed, on the inner side where the central pillar is, you're going to be placing three glass pane windows up and then to the left and right it's going to be two. So it's going to be three either side of the middle pillar and then two on each side okay so you'll see what i mean once once when i've placed the blocks down it'll all make sense so three glass pane windows joining the central pillar and then to the right and left we're just going to be placing just two high glass panes and now <clears throat> This is where we'll need to have a look at the design. Okay, so we've got, yep, okay. Yep, I think I know what we've done. I know what we've done. Above the third glass pane, we're going to be placing an upside down stair block. Like that. And then we're going to be placing stone bricks. Like that. And above the second blocks so then the windows don't look weird and they actually join up where they're meant to be and i believe we go along the top with the stone bricks so this should look something like that now we're going to concentrate on creating this frame around the top part of the glass pane windows um, but what we'll do first we'll place this nice little arch well it's kind of like a balcony um, underneath the second part of the glass panes and above the first part and what we're going to need to use for that is the stone brick stairs and the stone brick slabs okay so the way we're going to do it is we're going to place an upside down stair block along the three pillars and in between we're going to fill in with the stone brick slabs so it should look something like that okay now what we're going to do is take the cobblestone walls and we're going to go up two blocks high on the outside so you get that yep yeah. and then in the middle we are just going to be placing yeah that's right one cobblestone, I knew there was something missing there. Just one cobblestone wall, like that. Okay, now then, for the actual arch. So we're gonna select our stone brick stairs, and what we're gonna do first is we're gonna place an upside down stair there and there. And then on top of the cobblestone walls, we're going to have the stairs facing this way so that the, the shape of the stair goes down rather than inwards because then it wouldn't look quite right. And I think what we do, we place another stair brick on top of the two uh, stair bricks that are facing into the build. I believe that's right. It is, that's correct. So what did we do here? Ah, yes. 
So now we get our stone brick slabs and we place it above the little arch where the glass pane windows are. And in the central pillar, we place an upside down stair brick block. And then on top, to continue this sort of triangular shape, two stair bricks and to finish it off, yes in the center we're going to be placing another stair brick so it should look something like that okay are we following that fantastic right so i will finish this side off off camera because i don't feel as if it's necessary for me to show you again um, the design so what I'm going to do is we'll have a look at what we did or what I did with the roof uh, of this build so that you can follow the design as I've built it. Um, so then it will give you something to go off with this video as far as the tutorial goes. So what we're going to need now is our quartz stairs. And we're going to go along this face first, all the way along. And then we're going to be placing two stair bricks like that. And here, I believe we fill this in with stone bricks. So that the stairs have something to go on, rather than just floating in midair. We'll get our quartz stairs again and we're going to go all the way along this face. And I believe, yes, we do. We go placing the stair bricks looking inwards into the building. So not that way or that way or that way for that matter, because as you can see, the stair bricks are facing the wrong way. So you have to be facing towards the centre of the tower so that your stairs are facing that way and i think that's quite self-explanatory i don't need to explain that anymore okay so and then along the outside we're going to be placing our quartz blocks so you should have your first level that looks like that now to create this steep effect uh for the roof so that it doesn't finish too shallow and it has more of a very sharp um what's the word i'm looking for like a sharp drop to it rather than it being a gentle slope we're going to be using the quartz blocks so what we're going to be doing first is we're going to be placing a block on the inside first Oops, so we're going to be placing stone brick blocks in the corners, like that. Just fill in the corners until you end up with something like that, okay? And right, and then we're going to go up another block, okay? And once when we've gone up another row with a block, We're going to join each section and fill the gaps in. So that will be your next level, or next row I should say, completed. And then once when this bit's finished, you're going to need to select again your stair blocks. And then you're just going to follow the pattern like you have done on the first um level the first row so your stair quartz blocks should look something a little like that okay let's just have a quick look to make sure we're doing it right yes we are so once again you're going to be taking your block of quartz filling in the corners so that everything's all linked up very nicely. 
like so and then once again we're going to be going up another block and once again we're going to be linking all the corners and all the sides with the block of quartz until each side is joined up. Oops, quickly get rid of that block. So now your roof should start looking something a little bit like that. Yep. So now what we need to be doing is focusing on this part here. Okay. So, yep, now we're going to take our stair bricks again. And now we are going to be placing our three stair brick blocks there. And now I just need to have a quick look at this design because what I believe what we do, yes, we fill in that section there with block of quartz. So do not place a stair brick there like that because what we're trying to do now, we're trying to get the center piece now of this roof symmetrical on all four sides. So what we're going to be doing is placing a block of quartz there and there. As you can see over here, what I've done. So it looks like that. And then on the outside, we're going to be using the quartz stairs. Like so. Yeah. And then we're going along all the top until we get to that point. Okay. You follow that? Hopefully. Yep. We're good. Fantastic. Right. Okay. So once again, we're going to be taking our block of quartz. And we're going to be going along the top. Like so. There we have it. And then on top of that block of quartz, we're going to be once again using the quartz stairs. Going all the way around until everything joins up again. Beautiful. And then we'll get our block of quartz again, filling in the corners. Actually, did we do the corners on this one? I don't feel we did. So we'll place a block there, block there, block there. Should we place two blocks there? Yeah, why not? There we go. That's better. Okay. So then on top now, you're going to be adding another row of block of quartz and then we're going to be linking each side up and then on top of that we're going to go all the way around with the quartz stairs and then for the middle we just need two quartz stairs so that it finishes the peak of the roof off like that and there we have it. Our roof finished on one face of the wall of the church completed. So when you look at it from this side, it looks finished, although it is not yet finished. It is not quite yet the complete article. But when you look at it from this side, it does look rather good if i must say so myself um one thing i do want to say before um oops before we wrap up this video uh here for today um as you can see on the inside i created the centerpiece i don't know if i um gave a demonstration of um 
this particular part of the build here. But as you can see, what I used was a mixture of stair bricks and brick blocks. Once again, creating this steep triangular shape until it met somewhere in the center. And inside what I did, I filled um, kind of like a face of the wall filled with uh, glowstone because I felt it would give sort of like a nice warm glow and at the same time give the building sort of like a feel of um, it's like a different glass uh, texture that you have to the build and it's glowing and it also lights the building up especially with it being like the the central feature to this build um, I wanted to do something a little bit different and the cobblestone wall here I tried to create a, uh, a cross uh, so to speak uh, because I'm, it kind of needed something filling in the middle but I didn't want to fill it all up completely so I felt that if we created a, a simple cross or some simple design just to uh, to link everything up in the build whilst um, exposing all this glowstone so it gives us a bit of natural light to the outside as it's going dark now as you can clearly see it um, it sort of gives you a bit of a focal point to this build and you know what I cannot wait for this to be done so that I can give you kind of like a grand tour of what we've done uh, throughout all these uh, these parts and episodes that we've done so I think what we'll do in the next part of this tutorial I will show you how I built the staircase on the left hand side tower and we will do that uh, on the remaining tower to the right um, so then hopefully we'll be getting very close to finishing this build off maybe I'll do another um, tutorial build where we'll we'll add a few pews maybe build like a choir stand and start filling in some of um, the decor the interior of this build uh, just to try and finish everything off and wrap this uh, <laughs> wrap this tutorial up so if you have enjoyed watching this video I sincerely hope that you have please hit the like button and subscribe if you would like to see more videos not just of this tutorial but my other videos to my channel um, it is very much appreciated and it helps my channel grow as well as my confidence and all my projects that I have planned and currently ongoing at the moment thank you so much again for watching and I hope to see you on the next installment take care and goodbye